Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you how to set up and customize your MSI Afterburner FPS overlay step by step to make it look exactly like mine. So, first off, we need to download MSI Afterburner from their official website. Once downloaded, you'll find a zip file in your downloads folder. Extract that zip and inside you'll get the actual setup file to install MSI Afterburner. So now, as you can see, we're in the MSI Afterburner setup. Here, I'm gonna untick the Norton 360 for gamers option. Now from here, now this next step is really important. During the installation, you'll see an option to install Riva Tuner Statistics Server, RTSS. Make sure you install this, or the FPS overlay won't show up at all. Once Riva Tuner is installed, open it up. Here, you can customize a bunch of things like the size of your overlay, the color, the font. You can also enable the fill option to make your overlay a little more visible. After that, open the MSI Afterburner app. This is where you can actually control what shows up in your overlay. Go to the Monitoring tab and tick all the stats you want visible, and untick the ones you don't need. But keep in mind, you also have to tick the Show in On-Screen Display option for each stat, or it won't show up. Now, let's see how it looks in a game. All right, guys, so I launched Elden Ring to check out how our overlay looks in action. And, honestly, it already looks great. But hey, we can definitely make it better. Guys, let's clean up and customize our FPS overlay to make it look sleek and organized. First things first, we're setting up Riva Tuner, so let's jump right into it. As you can see, there's quite a few options here, but don't worry, we're gonna take it step by step. Let's start by increasing the overlay size for better visibility. I'll bump it up just enough so it's easy to read without being distracting. Yeah, that looks about right. Next up, fonts. We want something modern and clean. I'll scroll through a few options. Hmm, this one's decent, but not quite what I'm going for. Let's try another one. Oh, now that's the one. Super clean, easy on the eyes. Perfect. But of course, feel free to pick whatever font suits your taste. Now, we'll set the application detection level to high and make sure stealth mode is enabled. This helps the overlay work with more games, especially ones that don't always play nice with monitoring tools. Lastly, Let's position the overlay somewhere it's not in the way. A little tweak here, and done. Already looking solid. All right, guys, now I'm in MSI Afterburner. Let's organize our stats into clean, readable groups. One for the GPU, one for the CPU, and one for FPS. So first, I'm clicking on GPU Usage, and here I'll tick the Override Group Name option. I'm naming it RTX4050, so now it shows my GPU name instead of just GPU, which looks a lot better. Next, I'll do the same for GPU temperature, and just label it GPU temp. Same for memory usage, but I'll rename it VRAM, looks way cleaner. And for core clock, I'm simply naming it clock, since I'm only showing the core clock and not the memory clock. Look at that, already looking way cleaner compared to the cluttered mess we had before. Let's move on to power usage, doing the same thing and organizing that into the GPU group. Now onto the CPU group. First, I'm selecting CPU usage and positioning it above CPU temp to keep things logical.
Then I'll rename it to I-51240H. Again, way better than just CPU. From here, it's pretty much the same process as the GPU group. Oh, I'm also going to add RAM to the CPU group since it fits better here and avoids visual clutter. All right, speeding that part up. Now for the FPS group. Again, I'm ticking override group name and just naming it FPS. But here, I'm also enabling frame time average FPS, 1% low FPS. These stats are super useful, so I definitely recommend turning them on. I'll show frame time as a graph since it's a great way to spot stutters in game. Also, shrinking the graph width a little to make it cleaner. Okay, now our overlay is looking really good, but let's take it one step further. Let's add spacing between each group to separate them visually. To do that, I'll select the CPU overlay and type backslash N before the name. As you can see, that adds a nice gap between the GPU and CPU groups. Let's do the same for the FPS group. Boom! Clean separation. And there we go. After all that work, our overlay looks super clean, well organized, and easy to read. All right, final step. Head to the Benchmark tab and set a key to start benchmarking. Once you press it, you'll see your average and 1% low FPS. Then, in the on-screen display tab, set a key to toggle the overlay visibility. If you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.